Hello there. My name is Katherine M. Pratt, and I am a third-year MFA candidate in theater at the University of Nevada in Las Vegas. Today, as part of the GPSA Research Forum, I am presenting my project, Lighting Little Shop of Horrors. As a theatrical lighting designer, I strive to communicate the time of day, location, atmosphere, and the moods and emotions of the characters to the audience. I also work to collaborate with the director and the rest of the designers to bring a cohesive production to the stage. Little Shop of Horrors follows Seymour as he discovers a strange and interesting new plant while working in Skid Row. As part of his discoveries, he discovers this plant, which he named Audrey II, eats blood. As the audience, Hearing that something eats blood sends this gut-wrenching sense that something doesn't sit right, as most of the things we encounter don't eat blood, especially human blood. My work on this production involved creating the lighting for the production, leading the audience through the story being told. To do this, I followed several steps after reading the script. The first one is coming up with a concept, or what I want my work to focus on. My concept for Little Shop of Horrors was to help the audience understand we were in Skid Row at the bottom of the totem pole. I also wanted to focus on this gut-wrenching sense we have with Audrey too. To do this, a lot of red and blue lighting became my inspiration, as seen in the Get It rendering and production photo. Once my concept is con created, I then work to do research, as seen in a couple of examples here for the interior inspiration and clothes for renovation. I find a lot of photos to communicate my ideas to the director and other design teams so they understand the direction I am taking my work. It also allows me to have visuals to show and collaborate with the des other designers so that we can all work together on the production. After doing research, I tend to create renderings to better visualize and show what the lighting is capable of doing, not necessarily what the lighting will look like on stage. Here on this poster, you can see a few renderings, including some interior inspiration with how the mood shifts um, as the shop gets renovated, as well as the image for Get It. Once the renderings are complete, I then create the light plot to show the technicians where to hang all of the lighting instruments. Once the lighting instruments are loaded in the space, I then work with the crews to focus each light or show, have it be pointed where I need it to be on stage. This way, once technical rehearsals begin or when all the design elements come together on stage, lights are ready to be turned on. Before we get to technical rehearsals, I'm in and out of the rehearsal room. That way I'm able to match what the actors are bringing to the production, especially in terms of emotions and that character journey they're going on. At technical rehearsals, everything comes together on stage. We walk through the script moment by moment, especially for lighting so all of the looks can be created. In a large musical such as Little Shop, there are over 390 cues uh, used throughout the production to transform the lighting and lead the audience on the journey following Seymour as he rises to fame thanks to Audrey too. Little Shop of Horrors premiered as the Nevada Conservatory Theater here on campus in December 2021. A special thank you goes out to the Nevada Conservatory Theater, the Department of Theater, Brackley Frayer and Michael Jarrett for all of their support in making this production possible.